Hi everybody, Ben from Geeks, and we're back with more Subnautica. Now today, I want to upgrade things, I want to upgrade my equipment, and I also want to play about my Seamoth. Um, so what can we do here? Oh, we so hull reinforcement, that'll be good. Engine efficiency. Storage. Oh, that'll be good. Small uh, locker on the Seamoth. Uh, primitive defense. Solar charge, depth module, torpedo system, oh yes, and Seamoth sonar. So we've got the prawn suit, which we've got the schematic for, uh, greater depths, propulsion cannon, grapple arm, torpedo arm, and we can actually make torpedoes. Um, okay. Well, I've actually got nothing on me right now in the inventory because it's all my lockers. And if I was a better prepared person, I probably would have uh, come a little bit prepared. Never mind. So we can change the name. Could do the interior. Oh. I think I have to make it like. Um... Oh, no way. Right, okay, so we need. Gotta go for the executed colours here. Where's the right shade of orange? I mean, that's. probably it. What do you think? What's the stripe gonna be? Probably black. Gotta stick with the colours, so. Uh, what should, what should we call it? We're going to call it our sea pug. After my two boys. So there we have it. <laughs> we oh, it even says it on it. How cool is that? That is awesome. That is the sea pug. Just turn. Off time being. Now that is pretty cool. Um, we do. What have I got in here? I did have an upgrade for it. Do I have to press done? No. But that's cool. We now have a customised Seamoth. Um right. Oh, there's another floater riding up the get off Right, don't get distracted Ben. Uh, okay. Oh our base looks so good lit up. Welcome aboard, Captain. There you go. Um Ah, no, so that's a Cyclops engine efficiency module, so that's nothing to do with the Seamoth. Never mind. So we can upgrade our knife. Ooh. So we can do our fin upgrades. Propulsion cannon upgrade, Seamoth upgrade. Okay, so we can do a fair bit, but we just need the resources, which I do have, I just need to get them equipped. So, I guess I should just go find them. Okay, so we're back. So I've gone to my lockers, got all my stuff. Let's upgrade our survival knife to the thermal blade. Cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. Lightweight tank. I want to hold off for the ultra capacity though. So we've got the plastic lingot, but I won't need the lithium for that. So I want to hold off for the ultra high. Um, let's go to the ultra glide fins. And propulsion cannon applies percussive force to entities in range. So we could use a bit of a weapon, do you think? 
So I've got a nice little propulsion cannon now. Um, so this has been equipped already. Thermal blades there. Ooh. Nice. Cool. Um, so we've got the cannon, we've got the fins. I still want... Like, we could... Um, lightweight, high-capacity tank, ultra-high-capacity tank. But I don't know, because I, I like... Was that going to slow us down too much, do you think? Ah, oh, we'll go for it. Right, so that's all the upgrades for our equipment. I wonder what this happens to the blade when it's in the water. Right, can we go hunt a fish? Just want to get a fish. Oh, picked up. Oh, so it does, it cooks it. Oh, this is genius. So now I don't need to really... Oh, but I do need oxygen. I don't need food and water. So I can just cook fish on the go. Oh, that's... That's pretty... Pretty useful. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Not aboard yet. I mean, just look at that beauty. It's a thing of beauty. The sea pug. Ah, <sighs> absolutely love it. I'm just going to take a break here while I take a photo of that. So you'll see this on Twitter before you see the video. Okay, right. I'm guessing I've used... I mean, we'll get, we'll get the solar charge. Because I think that's useful to charge while we're out and about. Um, and the t torpedo system would be nice. But I do think I'm out of lithium. Sonar would also be good. Um, oh, so I need a lot of lithium for a lot of these upgrades. I do have some in a gas pod. Yeah, so a vortex torpedo. So it's not like it's going to blow things up. Because obviously it's not that type of game. Um, so when you do, yeah, it's more kind of fend off the big leviathan and then run away. Um, so I think we've got a lot of the stuff, so I could get some more... I don't even know what that stuff is. I've got the O-Gel. I've got lithium storage, so we could definitely upgrade to a torpedo system. Uh, sonar we could potentially do, because we've got that uh, magnetite. Um, but I do want uh, the storage module, so I just need some lithium for that. Or reinforcement I also want and I do have the diamond for it. Okay, so this is a case of having to go and get some more resources. Okay, so I'm gonna go get some more resources from my lockers and we'll be back. Okay, so we are back. Um let's get upgrading then. Oh, I need more diamond. <sighs> Would have to be the case. First of all, let's put that there. So that is some of the upgrade done. Got any diamond in here? Yes, I have. Just take. Oops. He's falling in the water. Uh, yes, thank you. Well, uh, nothing to see here. Hall reinforcement. Storage compartment. So I can build multiple. Small storage locker. Hmm. Uh, I've got the charger. Let's 
with the torpedo. Sonar. Smoke some torpedoes if we can. Okay, two. That'll do. Um. Oh, don't tell me I can only have certain ones in at certain times. What? Yeah, so I can only... Uh, okay, let's want to equip that. I want the storage. So now sh could be good. Uh, ah. Call me informer. I do want. But I need to be able to dive down. So let's just. All systems online. So. Oh, cool. So we're using sonar now. Um. And how about I stop? Where's our storage? Okay, so we can like. Hmm. Okay. Um, as cool as the sonar is, that one might be a bit of a, a Thunderbird jobby. As in, we'll use it when we've got a mission that requires it. Um, I definitely want to be able to keep the. Like charging, I don't think it's a problem because now we've got the storage container, we can actually like put like a, rich, a power cell in. So if it's a long mission, we're going to be out. We can actually put a spare power cell. So that's not too much of an issue. Torpedoes again. I mean, it's not a necessity right now. But if I, you know, encounter a Leviathan, it would be good to basically fire off a shot, try and at least get away. So I'm going to replace. I mean, I think this is pretty cool that you can only, you know, you can't just like have like this amazing souped up kind of, you know, kind of vehicle where it's got everything that you've got to, you know, pick and choose. You can have certain things, and that's really cool. Um, makes you think a little bit more. So I'm going to go for the, I want to be able to dive deep down. I think the storage module is very important, and I think the hull, you know, reinforcement is also super important. And then torpedo and, you know, so and all that kind of stuff. We can, we can swap it about when the, as when we need it. God's sake. I need a high capacity O2 tank. Which I mean, we should. Oh, and I can make you now. Just need hydrochloric acid. Synthetic fibers, okay. Mm -hmm. So it looks like I just need to make another standard tank, which is gonna be a faff. Um, but not really. Well, it is when you can't remember the bloody recipe for it. But I also need a standard tank as well, by the looks of it. To upgrade it to there, so I need the silver ore. Oh. We're going to do it, we're going to do it. So I just need titanium and silver ore. Okay, so we've got the stuff that we need to make the high capacity tank so let's see how much so we've got 135 at the minute oh look at that thing what do we shoot to 135 225 now that is nice but what does it do Hmm. I can't really tell if we're going slower. I mean, if we've got a sleet, you know, if we've got a sea glide, does it really matter? Right, so I think we've done a fair bit of upgrading there. Um, nothing that I want to do to my sea moth. Or the sea pug, should I say. Uh, that's all Welcome sorted now. Captain. Uh... 
that we need to want to go even deeper we need the mk2 because we've only got the mk1 right now we've upgraded our fins our propulsion cannon and knife our tank we've upgraded the sea pugs uh, appearance we've also added storage locker torpedoes torpedo launcher um we've also we've got the solar panel charger for when we need it we've got the sonar so I think this is a good place to leave the video. We've done all the upgrading that I wanted to do, so we've upgraded lots of things. Uh, when we come back, I think it'll be time to progress with the story a little bit because we've uh, last two episodes we built the base, and then in this one we've just done all the upgrades. So it's time to get back in the sea and try and start unraveling more the uh, the story mode. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate uh, your support during this uh, playthrough. I'm getting lots of really positive feedback. Uh, which is always nice to hear. So please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next Let's Play.